so I wouldn't really be I wouldn't be fully uh, benefiting from um, the capacitor that is storing energy because it's storing energy on just this one side or just that one side but by using this uh, 220 volt uh, power save device capacitor whatever that up there you're able to bridge across two of these now so I'm going to show you how to how to basically wire a breaker I mean there, there's got to be some videos on YouTube first I'm gonna turn it off it doesn't really matter because the power to the house is off and it just pops right out of there see this little hook right there that hooks onto this again here let me put it back in push it down real good it'll kind of you'll feel it get tight and then it'll grab and there it is it's in you turn it on and go outside and turn the power into your house and you're hooked up so here's the deal pull that out and then basically when you look at one of these you're gonna see uh, oh I'm just kidding <laughs> I couldn't resist alright so here we go you see two red wires from the power saver these are coming from the power saver if you look I've ran them up into this top corner up in there what I did was see unfortunately which was a bummer for me is this panel do you see how the drywall it's set inside the drywall whereas the panel that was on the outside of my house it sat exterior it came out so I could have just plugged my conduit right into the bottom ran a sub panel off of it and been a happy little camper but it didn't really work that way because I had no room in there this one sucks because it's it's inset into the wall so if I want to go up into that corner right there now here's my power saver wires right here see these two little wires and they go up through that hole in the wall and I ran that piece of conduit three order three 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 quarter I'm sorry three quarter I think it's called line type or something you'll see it um, in fact I'll show it to you here okay so now I bought that and that was real cheap I bought three feet and I didn't even use the whole three feet uh, you can see what it looks like here and, and then I just ran my wires into that plate and that plate took me like an hour in Home Depot to find they didn't they they're not easy to find but anyways uh, and I can show you where I got that plate now the plate didn't have a hole it was just a solid plate but it has a little foam there's a little foam gasket that goes around it I kinda like this plate and it also had four screw holes okay as the others that I found were bigger and uglier and had two screws so I wanted something solid so it could take the pressure of me bending this this stuff because you can see I bent that stuff I mean I bent it pretty hard um, it almost kinked but I ran it pretty smoothly but anyway, so what I did is I ran the wire through this plastic thing, ran it through this thing, this hole in this thing, shoved that on, on top of this, and then shoved this whole thing down inside. And uh, what I did was I put this adapter, this little three-quarter inch, you can get it, get it at Home Depot. I didn't, didn't take a picture of this. I forgot when I was at Home Depot. But just show them the three-quarter quarter inch gray conduit protector cable whatever stuff that is just show them that and uh, tell them you need the little piece of hardware that goes on it so what I did was first I took that piece of hardware and I pushed it into the end of this and I made a big hole back there in the drywall behind that nice looking plate there's a big hole because it had to be big so that that whole piece of hardware that sat on the top of this is chunky piece of hardware that sat up here I wanted to be able to feed that whole thing through so that I could throw this little screw on there 
the, the little uh, the seat that holds it into the box. And then boom, once it was in, once it was in, then I just tightened up my plate and I can show you, I'm going to show you that plate right here. Okay, that was the plate. And because it's going into drywall, you're gonna to wanna to hold it in real tight. So you're gonna need some really good screws. The guy at Home Depot hooked me up with these type of screws. And those screws uh, will lock it into the wall real tight. They work with drywall real well, hold it in there nice and tight. And then uh, once that was all locked into place, then I just came down here and took my little breaker. And we can do it right here for you right now. Let's see. Do, 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 do. See if I can do this while you can see. It's really easy. There you go. There's the wire. You just simply want to make sure these wires are. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it again. It's getting kind of cheesy, I know. But stick that little wire in there. Okay, I haven't addressed all the wires. There's two red ones. And you just basically put it in the hole like that. And then you tighten this little booger up right here. And you do the same thing with the other wire. So then you have your two wires going in. Do, do, do. I'm tightening this one up just since I'm here. Okay, so now that those two wires are in there tight, that's your breaker, it's wired up. Now there's also, if you look up there, there's a third wire. And that's your ground. See this little wire here? This one? Okay, that's coming from the power saver. You have two red wires, one green wire. Okay, that green wire goes down over here. It comes over here and it goes down onto this side. I'll move the camera a little bit here. I'm not there. I'm in a tight spot because I didn't move my car out of the garage. Okay, and then I took that green wire and I ran it into into that little breaker bar along the side or that little ground bar on the side. And you can tell it's the ground bar because it'll have a bunch of copper wires raw unfinished copper wires that, are, that have no shielding or coating on them. That's your ground. Okay um, and uh, I just unscrew that and put it in there. I mean if you can undo a screw then you can install that wire. 